what's up you guys it's your girl tamar gi and we are back with another video so today we are going to be working with xrs beauty hair this will be my second time working with this company and we are working with a whole wig of a different demographic so the first wig that i reviewed is nothing like this like this wig i'm about to review this wig is a different designed wig so um this wig is more affordable and i will go into details as to why it's more affordable as we start this install but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what's all in the box and show you guys the unit and then, i don't know why i never went to go get one wig cap we have a edge toothbrush we have an elastic band and we also have some flex rods so this is all that came inside of the box so now let's just get into this install. So this wig is brown lace like y'all. Brown lace scares me, but I have faith in this wig because it's kind of constructed to the way I think that it will actually look really good. And I feel like this wig is gonna be really good because XRSD hair is a really good company. So I took a chance with them with this brown lace. So. This is supposed to be more affordable, but um, you do, it says you do want to add like more makeup to it, but we're going to see if we actually have to do it. So I'm going to show you guys how it is. This wig is pre-plugged, pre-bleached, and it has a clean hairline. So one of the things that I really felt like was different about this wig is it has two braids in it. Like these wigs, do, wigs don't come with two braids in it. Like they don't. So let me just show y'all what the outside looks like. So... This is what the outside looks like. It looks like it's ready to wear, literally. So let me show you guys the inside. This is what's a little different about it. Although it is brown lace, it does have a cap in the inside to insulate it. So it'll be kind of easier to blend. These are two different type of knots on this wig. On this wig is a single knot and a double knot. Single knots are smaller in size and they are easier to bleach. But of course with this unit, you will not have to be bleaching any units. You will not have to be bleaching any knots on this wig but um i guess if you were to get a wig like of single knots it would be more easier for you to bleach so the double knots will give you like a more bigger appearance and it will be kind of like harder to bleach so i feel like the single knots are more towards the front and the double knots are more towards kind of where this um little cap is but regardless of it has single or double knots on this unit, um, the unit is bleached. So if you look close on the unit, it's bleached. Like this is clean bleached. You can see the top of it, everything is bleached. It's giving. Okay you guys, so I am going to go ahead and put a little bit of the same cream that I put on my ball cap on the hair already. I feel like adding more concealer would probably be like a stretch. Probably just like a little bit, but like, this is like some high quality brown lace. The inside because this is kind of light. So I'm just gonna add everything that I added on the ball cap on here so that it can kind of try to make it easier because this wig is like really good constructed. And when I first started working with wigs that had like the net on the inside, I would usually just cut it off. But that's like literally defeated the purpose if they want me to show you guys how to wear these wigs easy wear. All right, so I think I layered it pretty well, like with the makeup. I think I did a pretty good job. Like you can't, I don't think you can really tell too much the difference between the cap and the rest that doesn't have a cap on it now. All right, you guys, so we're jumping straight into this install. Yeah, so it's this pretty snug. And let me show you guys the top. Off, and I want like, let me keep this really braided to show you guys at the top week. of this. This scalp is so smooth. So you can see really how good. So well it blends in the more affordable the than their like, normal wigs. So well You're getting a top. really good quality wig like for like a fraction <laughs> of the price because the lace and everything on this wig is really good. Like even though it is a dark brown lace, you really can't even tell.
So I'm going in with my Skin Guard by Erica J and we're gonna be using the Even New York Lace Spray and this is the highest volume. So this is like the strongest spray that they have on that line. I would say a tip when you're spraying and you already sprayed your wig cap with the adhesive, make sure you don't spray it too much because it will slide back because you're putting liquid over the already dry spray adhesive. But um, one thing I can say that I kind of messed up on my part I think I kind of put the wig on a little bit too far back, but I did kind of save it, you know, with the baby hair. But the lace really blended so well to the point where, like, you really couldn't even tell. It just looked like seamless, no baby hairs. But I really wish I could have pulled it up just a little bit more so then I could really get, like, the full, 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 you know, look out of it. But I made it do what it do, and it came out really, really cute. Okay, so I pretty much have it like in there. So um, I'm just going to try to cut off the rest of this lace to try to make sure it's as everything how I want it to be like on the ears and stuff. <sighs> So what I'm doing right here is I'm spraying like a little concoction of spritz and I'm putting it on my hairline just to kind of get that lace to blend in a little bit more because I was experiencing that. Okay, okay, this is brown lace because the last unit that I had by um, XRS Beauty, you guys can see it right here. This unit was not dark brown so not dark brown but it wasn't brown lace so it was more seamless to blend like it's way easier so like with this unit you would have to add like a tad bit more makeup you would have to add on their other units being that this wig is more affordable you know adding a little bit more concealer and stuff for a good quality wig like this i wouldn't say that's too bad i would say that's really good because me personally if i was getting a wig that was normally more out of my budget and but i'm still getting a hot quality wig and i just have to add makeup i'm gonna go ahead and snatch that wig up <laughs> because and it already come with two braids in it like you can literally wear it like this if you want to but i just went ahead and took the braids out because i wanted you guys to see the scalp and everything but i did want to put this in a side part so i am just going ahead and getting that straightened out with my hot comb So we have this thing straight, honey, and I am just taking my concealer that I use for my ball cap in on the inside of this unit, and I am making that part really, really straight and going back in with like a gel, black gel pen, and just making that part as straight as possible.
So after I did these baby hairs, I went ahead and took like my little wrap and I wrapped it around and I put an elastic band over that and I feel like that really helped. All right guys, so this is the outcome of this hair. This came out so cute. So yes, you guys, as you guys can see the outcome of this unit compared to the other unit, you're still getting a really, really good unit for just a little bit more less coin like, and I think that's a win-win for me. Um, if you guys want all the information on this unit, make sure you guys click the description box down below. Love you guys. Stay blessed.